Today I'm going over facts and glitches from the Greenville update and let's just dive right in. Starting off with this very weird vehicle, the Heenergy Mini Cooper. It is obtainable in the Heenergy Worker Team. Moving on to the Eldorados, you'll notice that they have different rims now. Heading on into a wheel customization area, you'll notice that there's two sets of rims. Prior to the update, these rims specifically did not exist and the ones on screen did exist, but they are replaced now by these. I do not have an in-game example of this vehicle being off sale, but I do have an image of it. And it is confirmed to be off sale but the Andre Buddy is no longer obtainable if you do have it you do have the off sale badge for it but did you know you can actually change the chime that happens when you click and start an event in your settings in gameplay you can actually change event alert type and you can change it to chime only UI only or completely off if you would like. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure these arrows are new from this update in the Twist parking lot, so that's pretty cool. The six buildings you can see on screen are all new prop buildings, and it just brings a lot more life to the industrial area. So second from the right in the industrial area, one of the new buildings has a glitch. These two doors right here, you can just walk right through and uh, explore. Might as well add this as well, but you can walk through the fence for some reason. To my knowledge, there's only one bin that is tipped over like this in game, which is kind of interesting. At the factory pulse, if you're actually an employee, you can actually access this table right here, which you can set songs into queue. You can also pause them, play them. Pretty cool. According to some people, this super force right here actually received the limited tag with the off sale tag before. So it's now a limited off sale vehicle. At the airport, there is a new system now. You can actually see the amount of horsepower your opponent has, which is really cool. Pretty shocking car to be added already, but the Rolls Royce is back in game and you can also see the creator of the game as well on the hood ornament. Maybe I'm just being nitpicky, but this vehicle right here in the dealership does not have a roadmap dealership plate like all the other vehicles. As well, there's a typo for performance instead of performance. I don't know why I noticed that, but I did. Probably one of my favorite touches for a vehicle ever in Greenville is if you actually hit G in the C7 Corvette, you can change the LEDs inside the vehicle. These have so much detail put into them. Absolutely amazing job to the developers who made this vehicle. Anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.